right, this is my new reef tank. It's currently cycling and still a bit cloudy, but hopefully that'll clear up. This is a 40 breeder that I drilled and installed the Eshops Eclipse, the, the medium one, 800 gallons per hour overflow box. This is what the back of it looks like. There's two drain pipes in there. The one without the pipe is the main drain, and the one with the red pipe is the emergency overflow in case the regular one gets plugged up by something. Um, I keep the water level close to the top of the emergency one just so that it's quiet. Otherwise, it, you'll see a little tornado in there and it starts to gurgle a little bit. But I got a package from reefcleaners.org for the dry rock. I got their 50 pound for $90 package and I think I used probably about 30 pounds of it in here. So pretty happy with the aquascaping. Um, for lighting I have a Reef Breeders um, the Photon V2 the 24 inch. I know the tank is 36 inches but the light has pretty good spread. There's not really any dark spots other than just like the far corners. But So far I'm happy with it. And uh, no, while it's cycling, I do not keep the light on. I just have the light on for the video. For sand, I went with the Tahitian Moon from Carib Sea. It is dry sand. I did not go with live sand um, because I wanted black sand and I wanted it super fine like sugar. But you can't find it in live sand, so dry sand it is. Um, I got two of the Jabo PP4 wave makers. So, so far, so good with them. Um, I have one controller mounted on this side, which is the one that I'm set up for master. And the other one is on the other side of my stand. That one basically doesn't do anything at this point other than control the flow of the, the pump on the right. I had a contractor friend build me the stand because as everyone knows 40 breeders they don't make any good stands for them which is very frustrating. Now let's check out what I got. Alright this is my DIY 20 gallon sump. I hard plumbed everything so no, no flex tight uh, tubing this time around all PVC. So that's where my two drains go. This is my refugium. I have the marine pure balls in there. I kind of wish that I had got the one gallon package instead of the half gallon. I think I might have to add some more down the road. But this is just an LED grow light. Nothing super special. I got it from Amazon for like 15 bucks. So we'll see how that goes. It's got to be better than a regular light. For my skimmer, I have a Simplicity 120 DC skimmer. Uh, it's not running obviously because there's nothing in the tank. It's only had water in it for a few days. But that will be pretty cool. It should work pretty good. I got good reviews. I like the DC pumps because they come with the controllers. That's the controller. You can control the, the water volume. It has a feed button that shuts it off for 10 minutes. So that's pretty cool. For a return pump, I have the Reef Octopus Varios 2, which is also a DC pump. Um, there's the controller for that. Which this I really like. Um, it has two different feed modes. One is for 15 minutes, and then if you hit the pause button again, it goes to for 60 minutes. And the plus and minus is for controlling how much flow is coming out of there. Um, the FS button on top is for the float switch. It does come with a float switch. I have not installed it. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I haven't really looked into it to see what it does. But I would imagine that I could set the float switch up for inside here. So if the water level got too low, it would just shut the pump off. But I haven't really messed around with that yet, so I'm not too sure.
But yep, that's uh, that's pretty much what I got going on in here. I'm hoping that this will end up being my my nicest SPS tank once it's all cycled and ready to go. But time will tell. Alright, have a good one guys.